more. And so Danny's here, he built this tiny little house, so he's gonna tell us about building it, and we're gonna look in it a little bit. Yeah, this is actually a 900 square foot home. It is an octagon shaped home, which made it extremely difficult to build because there's actually nothing square on it anywhere. But it has, every corner, corner has been utilized simply because it is octagon. There's no wasted space in it anywhere. Underneath the house, it's built up on blocks. There is a storage space underneath the house. So that's what makes it very economical. The fireplace is actually in the center of the house. And every room is accessed extremely easy in this house. That's one thing that makes it very good for this lady because she's a disabled elderly lady. It has a porch all the way around it. The porch is because the sun in the south is so intense that the porch keeps the wind, the sun from actually hitting the outsides of the walls and heating the house up. That's one thing in the south you always want to is to have a porch around your house if at all possible. So we can go inside in just a minute. We'll check and see what it looks like on the inside. Sounds good. Oh, well, no, we wanted a house that for my mother, I wanted a house that was going to be cylindrical. Um, I had built a dome home. I lost my house in Katrina. So for my mom, I wanted to do something along the same lines, but we didn't, you know, it wasn't going to be, she didn't need a big dome house, right? So we wanted something small. The closest you can get to cylindrical in like a tiny house without doing something really crazy is just an octagonal, so stop sign, shaped house. I had looked on the internet, saw a few few plans, I think Danny, I told him, yeah. hey, I want it to be a stop sign, you know, octagonal. And uh, so we just kind of came up with this idea. Originally it was going to be two bedrooms, but then once we got into it, just like when we were building the dome, it's like the floor plan generally always changes when you're building yourself. You're like, hey, wait, I didn't know this was going to be this big or this small. In this mm -hmm. case, it was going to be two bedrooms that were just too small. And so we decided to make one large bedroom because it was just going to be for her. So that's what we did. And uh, really the, the a great feature of this house is this wraparound porch. I mean, it goes on what one two six three sides. four all six sides <clears throat> and um and so it can be pouring down rain and you can come out on your porch it's pretty nice you got this great view you have here hey guys i just wanted to point out here that a lot of these people have very kindly allowed us into their homes to film and sometimes at very short notice paul is a little bit embarrassed about the amount of items that are on the floor with that particular shape with the round shape it's not always easy to get storage um, shelves in because they don't sit flush to the wall and so one of the reasons we made this film was to show that when you're designing a, a home it's very important to take into account your lifestyle and unconventional shapes while really cute and fun and different are not always as um, usable as you would hope and so the other thing is that Paul's mom is disabled which means that it's easier for her to reach things at waist height than it is to reach something up on a shelf or to put things back in a shelf and so a lot of the reason that things are down low and aren't in a storage solution is that it's easier for her to reach them and notice all the light switches mm -hmm. they're lower than normal yeah. and that's because we built a handicap because my mom is getting to where she can't walk much anymore so she uses so everything is kind of designed and I think you would want to do that anyways I mean it's not I'm not handicapped but just going down a little bit lower doesn't hurt to turn on a light switch mm -hmm. and also yeah. and that was a walk-in tub in there that she can walk into so we made it where, and Danny made it, I said we got it, if she's ever in a wheelchair, 
I want to be able to get in all the rooms with the wheelchair. So every yeah. all these doors are rather wide. Mm -hmm. uh, and mm -hmm. you've got the deck outside that runs right. the whole way around. Right. And then that and you there's no steps there. Now there's steps on this end, there's but on no this, steps end, on this other end. So you, so you could literally be in a scooter and come all the way up here. You know, we might have to do a little a little something right to put here. a wedge at your front a door to get in front to right. drive in right um but right now she's using a walker and she just sets the walker right there mm -hmm. but nice. yeah you can get all around one of the things that we want to do is take this corner and build a pantry right there because in that room we had a lot of food on a shelf mm -hmm. and we want to take yeah, it's just one of the inherent problems of a house that's octagonal but i think the benefits outweigh you know, you have a couple of corners that are just, you know, you could put shelves in there. Right. Another thing we did in the house to, to yeah. make it more accessible for handicaps is the kitchen cabinets here. Mm -hmm. We put roll-in, well, we put all these roll-in <laughs> drawers in them. Oh, cool. You know, something else before we get to that. This house has nine foot ceilings. Okay. Which yes. makes it okay. seem larger mm -hmm. than it is because if it had been an eight foot ceiling, that would have been right here. Yeah, mm -hmm. you would have felt more closed. You would have felt yeah. closed in. So if you're going to do a tiny house, get the ceiling up a little bit higher. Yeah. When I, when I'm in here, you know, visiting my mom, it's like, wow, I could live in like this is yeah. the perfect size for one or two people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you can raise a family in this house, really. But if you're just yeah. retired or you're just two people, it's perfect. Yeah. It's you click a button, it's gas powered, mm -hmm. comes on. Mm -hmm. So it's ease of use with that. Mm -hmm. So if times you know became bad and you couldn't get gas, well, there's plenty of wood out here, and you can just right. rip that out right. and just burn. And yeah. did you did you tell us what the get what the cost was for building, building this house? Cost? What did we end up? Do you know? I think we had a budget of I don't know if it's my house or, or hers, but I think her budget was eighty thousand dollars. I wanted to say it was around eighty, so I thought it so. was. And I don't think we went over, and that that's including the appliance and it's just, and you know Danny did the labor and, and built it. I really didn't do anything in this house. I built it. Matter of fact, I built it right by myself. Yeah. With the exception, I brought the sheetrock hangers in to hang the sheetrock. Oh, this is pine. It's, it's real hardwood floors too. This one has a tankless hot water heater on it. It's gas operated. Oh, nice.